Yozora. So hey guys, we're in a new segment, Talk of the Town. Today we got a special guest, GVO again. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, huh? you know what the fuck is going on. So what does GVO stand for? Um, Goose Vibes Only. Huh? Gooch vibes only. Gooch vibes only. So that Gooch means that it's positive vibes, good vibes for me. Only positive energy, like for me. But it's just like with slang, like you see, like everybody's like you Gucci, you Gooch, like. So yeah. yeah a little I mean, shit. I feel like that's a little New York thing. Exactly. Well, yeah. Exactly. Right. You feel me? I am. So, um, how did you get into music? Um, to be honest, like just hanging with my men, freestyling with them and shit for me, like. Um, one day we just got into the studio, hopped in there, just did something. I was like, I fuck with this shit, you feel me? Like, so that shit came out, that shit came out fire. I did another track after that. After that, the shit okay. was came out fire. I'm like, all right, but. Okay, but you was dancing at first, and then you became heavily into the music. Yeah. So what, what made you switch like, in brands? Well, like I said, my mans was freestyling around me, so like, they, mm -hmm. they really got me into the music, you feel me? Like, I wasn't with it. Like I was at first, I was like, Nah, I'm not gonna do it for me. I'm just continue just dancing shit, clothes and all that. I'm like, right. I kept going with this shit. I'm like, I right, I fuck with it. You feel me? So I ain't stopped dancing. I just I just pursued more into the music. You feel me? And like okay. all that gonna follow up. Right. Okay. So what are who was you listening to growing up? Um, I was in Fab. Um, growing up, who else I was listening to growing up? Definitely Fab. Um. I, I was listening to a lot of artists, like, okay. growing up like for who? me, but, like, Fab, Lil Durk, Herbo, um, I, I can say people now that I was listening to, like, um, we're gonna get into now. All right, so before, like, yeah, um, yeah, like growing up, yeah right? Durk, Herbo, Fab, yeah, um, all of those, yeah, those are, those are really my top three for me, really okay. Fab, like, okay, okay. Cool. So out of the songs you have out now, what's the f favorite song you created? Like, what's your favorite song? Um, my song No Hook, part one. Okay, so the first part was your favorite one. And why was that your favorite? Because I feel like that's where, like, I just had that energy for me. Like, I just, like, when I came on that track, I came different than I came on any other track. Like, the ad-libs, everything was just, like, was just there. It just made it more powerful for me. It's like, mm -hmm. I was like, when I heard it, everybody's coming to me, I'm like, yeah, this is it. Like. Okay, so how would you describe your sound, though? Um, I say it's, it's different. Like, how different? Like, explain. Like, for me, like, the way I flow, for me, like, my verse, my, like, I'm versatile, for me, very versatile. A lot of people not like that, for me, so, mm -hmm. like, that's why I say I'm different with it. Okay. All right, so from the first song you ever made to now, how do you feel like you improved musically? I, I improved a lot. Like, how and what? Um, like my flow, my flowing way better. You feel me? My energy way better. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, those those really, that was really my my only problems with it. So what's like your end goal, or what's something on your bucket list? What's something you gotta accomplish in music? Start my own label. For me, that's something I'm, that I gotta get accomplished before I get up out of here. Um, what else? Put my team on. For me. Just a and making sure like me and uh, all my guys are situated. My parents, for me, my family, everybody's situated. Like that's why I want. That's why I want to end that shit. So like, okay, like family's personal. So like, so what would you say is your process like in the studio? Like what you mean? Like we, you need your friends around. You gotta have certain type of beats. You gotta go to a um, certain studio. Like um, it do, I, how I you do, get in your zone? I <laughs> I need certain type of beats for me. Okay. I need certain type of beats. Um, and that's, it all depends on my mood, you feel me? So, like, if I'm in one of them little down moves, like, I'll cook up by myself, I'll go to the studio by myself, mm -hmm. but I don't want nobody around, you feel me? Certain songs, I just be, it, it comes out the way it did because I was by myself. I feel like if I was with people that day, it would never came out the way it was. Okay. So, what inspired your song, Toxic? Because that's different from... No hook, I feel. Mm -hmm. So what, what what made you like want to tap into that sound or made you try that? Um, when I heard Toxic, when I heard the beat for me or Fripp, like I was going through something at that time, for me. Okay. So I was I was just walking, I was just writing, right? I ain't write to no beat, just wrote, just wrote. Heard the beat, I'm like, let's go perfect on it. 
went to the studio by myself, I mean. No, because that was about yourself. Yeah, yeah. I went okay. in there, did that, ripped it. I was like, yeah, the shit fire. All Different. right. A lot of artists say that they freestyle. Do you think artists really be freestyling, or do you think people really be writing? Um... I think some 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 artists, not all artists, some artists be cat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you could tell the difference between somebody freestyling and reading their shit. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. you could definitely tell. So um so growing up in New York, a fly to beef. How do you stay like away from that, or how do you separate yourself from the drama oh, no, no, of New York City? I just I just play my role. You feel me? Like as long as nobody coming at me. For me, or my 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 personal niggas, for me, like it's it's all good for me. Like, yeah, I like certain niggas I still won't fuck with, but it's just like it ain't it ain't nothing crazy. Like that's not my mindset. Or my mindset is on this okay. bread. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, so what's so a lot of your fans support us from dancing to music. Do you feel like it was hard trying to transition everybody, or was everybody super supportive like um, in your journey? It was. Uh, it was like 50-50 with that, you okay. feel me? Like I had some people that was with it, like, yeah, keep going with it. Some people was like, like, yo, like, you feel me? Thought I was whack at a time, whatever the case may be. Like, for me, it is what it is, for me. But now it's like, they, they fucking with it. They seeing what's going on. So what motivates you to keep going? Like, how do you keep your, how do you keep Every, going? Everything keep me going. My, my niggas, my team, my management team, um, just life period. Like I go through, if I go through anything that's down, motiv motivate. Anything that's that like people, um, people that keep telling me that they're supporting me, keep going. Yeah. For me, that's motivation. For me, like, okay. Keep me going. So, are you signed or are you independent? I'm independent. Okay, but you have a management team and things like that. Facts. What would, what would you say is a plus to having a management team, being an independent artist? Um, because a lot of artists think they could do it all themselves. That's a fact. So, you what do you me? think? Like I. Like, not to say like that, but I feel like, you know, artists, an uh, artist can do it by himself, for me. He just got to put the, he got to put that work in, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was doing it by myself, you feel me? But what I say with the help coming with the management is like, I don't, for me, I'm not a person that, you know, I ain't rich, for me. <laughs> so it's like to pay for studio time, pay for videos, pay for this, pay for that. Then got to still pay rent, all this other shit, you feel me? Like, yeah. it, it's helpful, all for me. Up. Yeah, it's helpful. And then it's, that's extra promotion, you feel me? And these are people that... Believe in, believe in me just as much as me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, any um, artists that you want to collab with, any dream collabs, or any collabs in the cut? Or? Um, yeah, I got, I, got some, I got some spooky collabs in the cut for me. I can't speak New on York that. New York artist? Through. Yeah, New York, New York, New York um, spooky collab with uh, Texas artists from Houston, Texas. Okay. Uh, spooky collab coming with uh, artists from Vegas. Okay. Um, and I got New York artists too. So any like big artists you want to collab with? Um, hell yeah, hell yeah, definitely. I want to collab with like G Herbo. Um, who else? Like, I want to collab with. I do. I still want to collab with Jay Critch for me. Um, Busy. Uh, who else? Couple. Cause a couple artists I want to okay. collab with. You know what I'm saying? Why you say you still want to like? Why you say what like you mean? That? Still want to like? like I still want to collab with Jay Critch. Oh no no no! I said I said like that because for me like like for me these these people I know you feel me like I'm tapped in with these people you feel me so it's like people but everybody asks me like yo you ever gonna do something with them you ever gonna do something okay. for me like so yeah like that's why I said still like that's something like, I, that's still, still like, my mindset yeah that's still on the table yeah it's still on the table okay. all right all right all right so what's next for you um, got a project coming this year like how are you about to end off the year um for me project might come this year. Definitely for me, okay. not um probably after the summer. I'm gonna just keep giving y'all singles and all that. For me, okay, give y'all some singles and videos. Um, I got a new video dropping Juneteenth this Saturday. Um, that's Called? no 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 hook part two. Okay. For me, so okay. that's that's part two to that. Um, I got other songs coming with me and my son Lace Guard. For me, coming soon. Um, yeah, that's really it for me. That's really what's going on. Okay, so tell people where to find you, where to find your music. Oh, they got to contact. For me, GVO Yen, G V O Y E N everywhere, all platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, Title, whatever, Google me. Instagram, GVO dot yen for me. It's GVO Yen everywhere for me. GVO. Yeah.